Hey guys, what's up? Some short guy here. So this next video I was supposed to film back in May after I went to the very first Heroes of Venice Fan Fest in London, which was freaking amazing by the way. Hands down best convention I've been to. I did a little coverage on my blog for it, so I thought I'll actually talk about it and show you guys some of the stuff I got, like photos, ops I got with guests, things I got signed, and just general cool stuff I found at the event. So without further ado, I'll get started. So this is my little box. Oof. Still got all my tickets and stuff in because I'm so organised at conventions. I've got me pass, but I'll tell that's a good story, I'll tell you that after. First of all, I'll just go through the photo ops of the cast I met. You might recognise some of them if you're into the shows like I am. My first one is the Gotham cast. So I've got the cast photo up with them. Now these, these guys were they were just so fun, like because I met each and every one of them over the weekend. They were just all so friendly down to earth. The ones that stood out for me was probably Robin Lord Taylor who played Penguin. Because he was like very humble with fans, like really like, you know, genuinely wanted to be there. He was very cool to talk to. And then probably Sean Pertsley, who plays Alfred. Because I was in the show, we know he's a cockney Alfred, but that's how he talks in real life. And he was just so cool, like I was asking him about it. And he was like, well, they were trying to ease me off of the accent. But in the end, they just let me stick with it. And I think it works, because he does a really great portrayal of Alfred. And we got David Malzus, who plays Bruce Wayne slash Batman, hopefully. He was really cool. He was just like a big kid with the fans, like just generally wanting to be there, like talking about obviously all things Batman related in Gotham, and he was cool. Drew Powell, who was like a gentle giant. I thought he was gonna like swallow my hand though, because I shook his hand and I was like, this guy has got a grip. But he was cool as well, like he wanted to be there. All of them were just having a good time. And then obviously Jessica Lucas, who plays Tabitha on Gotham. She was really cool as well. And then I met him before I got the photo. And then when I actually got the photo, they was like, oh, it's good to see you again, because I had the sincerity top on. They were like, sincerity enough to see you, and I was like, I see what you did there. But yeah, that was that was one of the first things I did on Saturday, which was cool. So they were really cool people to meet. They were great. And um, one of the main reasons I went, obviously Arrow is like, probably my favourite show out of all of them. And obviously the reason I went was because this man was here. Stephen Amell. Like, I've always wanted to meet him because like, obviously I love him on Arrow but then he does a lot of stuff off the screen like the charity work he's done, raise awareness for certain issues like cancer, obviously a veteran stuff and PTSD because he's done all like the different represent campaigns. He's got a huge social media presence as well. He interacts with the fans which I think is great and like I've always wanted to meet him because I saw he's one of my heroes. I look up to the guy so he was one of the reasons I wanted to go and then that's my photo up with him. He's freaking tall by the way. I'm like, damn, I'm a midget. Obviously I was stuck on what stuff to get signed. So, because as you guys know, I am a big pop collector. If you didn't know, I love pops. So, I was stuck on what to choose to get signed. So, I decided to get my Arrow Pop sign. Because, you know, OG Arrow. I don't know if you can see it because the pen's like a dark blue colour. Yeah, he signed my Arrow Pop, which I was buzzing about. Because, like, it's tossed between this and the green arrow, and I thought, nope, this is the one I'm going to get sewn because OG arrow all the way. I want to make the most of it, so I also bought an arrow poster, which I can't find because I've got shit everywhere. Is that it? No, that's not it. I was organised. Fuck <laughs> yeah, man. Ugh, oh, plastic tubes, you name it, I cannot get stuff out of the frick. What is these balls? I don't want to ruin the poster. There we go. Ooh. So, yeah. Oh, so I got this signed by Stephen Amell. It's like an arrow poster. Uh, where is it? There it is. So, I don't know if you can see it there. But he personalised my name and he even wrote the arrow quote, you have failed this city, and then he signed it. That's dope. So I'm going to get that shit framed. Although it's not often, you know, you get to meet people like him, so I was like, make the most of it. So I got my pop signed and I got my what's the arrow sign and I got my photo of him. I don't normally get starstruck with guests but for some reason when I was queuing out to meet Stephen Amell I was like oh shit I'm actually gonna you know, I'm gonna meet the guy and when I got to the table you know this is the point he was everything I hoped he'd be and then it was a lot more because like he was so chatty and like he'd done the Ninja Warrior just before the event so I asked him about that and said I thought he was awesome like he raised a lot of money for charity and then also I said about the season five finale of Arrow if you guys haven't seen it, spoilers, I don't know who the frick survived that and I, I was like, dude, that's, that was the most insane finale and he was like, oh, I'm really glad you enjoyed it and then I just, you know, I said thank you for the work he does off camera, off screen and said he's a hero of mine, I look up to him, it's an honour to meet him and he was really humble and really cool and I walked away and I feel like a little kid, I was like, oh, I just met the great hero one of my highlights, for sure uh, next one I met was Katie Cassidy, who played Laurel in Arrow Sadly got killed off, but that was back in the back sorry. The thing is with her, I've heard very mixed things about her on social media. Like, people said like she was a letdown or she you know she didn't actually want to be there. 
On my experience personally, I thought she was lovely. Really friendly to talk to, she was really great. And like I just said about you know, Grace back on Arrow, and like she was like, oh, I've missed it, so it's cool to be back on the show. I thought she was great, she was really nice to talk to. And then I got an autograph as well. It was just a black canary on one side, but she personalised it my name, which is pretty dope. Yeah, I thought she was really nice. Like, and also I had the photo of her as well. I must have a memorable face because all the guests seemed to remember across the weekend, which was cool for me. I was like, I oh, love you, I remember, it's pretty cool. But yeah, I thought she was lovely. Obviously, she's stunning up close as well. Felt like a bit of a troll next to her, but you know, I'm glad I've met her because I've always wanted to meet one of the OGs from her. And then I met Hayley Atwell. She was really nice. Obviously, Peggy Carter from Agent Carter and Captain America. She was one of the big sort of A listers there with Stanley Tucci. But yeah, she's really nice, like, really cool, very friendly as well very English and I met I wasn't gonna meet this guy but I was like oh do you know what all these guests in one room screw it so I got a photo of Colin Donnell who was Tommy Berlin from Arrow who we've seen come back in flashbacks and stuff he was cool he was just like buzzing in like really good with the fans and then like I met him at his signing table I had nothing to get signed and I had no money at that point because it was like right last minute but yeah he was really cool friendly glad I met him because obviously he's in Chicago MD I don't know if you guys have seen that if that's the name of the show don't quote me, but he's calling that. Obviously, people on Arrow they get killed, they never stay dead. Let's be real. So, I hope he comes back one day. But he was, he was really pushing to talk to. Next one is uh, Emily Beck Rickards, you know, Felicity Smoke from Arrow. She was one of the last additions to the show, and I was at the show to the convention. So, I was like, I've got to meet her. She was really cool. And she got like, some cool rocker look going on, and I was like, damn, I'm impressed. But yeah, she was lovely. Really nice to talk to. And then I didn't know what to get signed by her, so. I resorted to a pop. As <laughs> you do. And it was a Felicity one, which took me ages to get, but I got to sign that. So she personalised it and signed it. Of course, done it because it doesn't block out the pop. I love her on the show, but off, off camera on social media, she's cool as well. So it was cool to meet her. She said, you know, I think you're awesome on the show. I think it's great what you do. Very humble and like. It's cool because she was just walking around, just checking out the other actors, like supporting them. So that was pretty nice to see. Right now, this, this next guy. Oh, I don't know what to start with this guy, but that's Josh Sigaria, who played um, Adrian Chase slash Prometheus in Arrow Season 5. This guy, right, I think he stole the show on the weekend, because I wasn't sure if I was going to meet him, but then after I watched the Season 5 finale, I was like, I need to meet this guy. And I tried so hard all weekend. It got to a point when I did think I was going to meet him, because he was so popular, and what he was doing, he was talking to the fans, like, not, like, hi bye. He was proper taking time with him, which was cool. And I was like, oh, I ain't going to get to me. I had to duck in that photos. And there were some volunteers that were working there. And like they knew I'd been trying, so they got me really well. So they were great. But I finally got to meet him. And oh, man, he did not disappoint, honestly. He was just like, he was just a nerd. Because I remember I was walking around at one point, because I was waiting for my friend. I was looking at an art stall. And next thing I know, I just hear his voice. I turned around, I was like, oh, shit. It, it was fucking, it was like Josh, man. He was just looking at me. And I was like, be cool, man. Be cool. I was just looking at an art still, and he was like, there's some serious that can prove his art here, and I'm like, yeah, let's prove his art, where is it at? And then he shook my hand and walked off, and I was just like, there's, there's no one to freak out with. So that was cool, but yeah, so I got my photo of him, and then there's nothing like Prometheus related to get signed, so one of my favourite artists there, Brian C. Roll was there, and he'd done this awesome Prometheus print, I don't know if you guys can see that, but then I decided I'll get Josh to sign that. That was cool. He tried to steal it off me. I was like, dude, it's my print. He's probably one of the highlights for me just because, like, I knew he was probably going to be a really cool guy, but Jesus Christ, he was so surprising. And then I ended up meeting him again later after a photo op because I got one with Stephen Amell as well. So I got a photo with the two of them. Only thanks to my friend Lucy because when these went on sale, I was like, oh, I can't. So she bought it for me and I was like, thank you so much, Lucy, because I've got a picture with Prometheus and the Green Arrow. And that was cool, because when he, the thing was with Josh, the current thing that weekend was he was sort of late a lot to like photo ops and stuff. So we was, his photo was, was the last one on Saturday, and then um, we were just waiting, and then he just come in and he sort of run down the line giving people high fives, and I was like, that's dope. And he just, there was such a charisma about the guy, he was just like so cool, and I was like, I really hope he comes back next year, because obviously he's not going to be on season six, but well, you don't know. But he was just such a highlight for the weekend and he was just such a cool guy. So that was the Saturday. And then obviously I went back for day two on Sunday and I met some more, I guess. Yeah, so one of the first photos I met was 
from AZ Wishes and Sellers, who plays Vixen Legend tomorrow. I'm not gonna lie, I had a bit of a crush on her, so I was like, I want to meet her in person. I didn't know she was English, so that was quite a chocker. But yeah, she was really nice. I had my follow up with her, like, pretty much first thing Sunday morning. And then, because she had how nice she was, and like, I was wearing this arrow hat which I bought there. And she was like, oh, that's a cool hat. And I was like, take it. So then, in between uh, photos and stuff, I thought, right, I'll go back and meet her at a table. And then she signed it for me, which was cool. But yeah, she was really lovely. She was one of the ones I was desperate to meet because I just thought she was brilliant as Vixen in Legends of Tomorrow. So I was like, I want to meet the woman behind the character. So she was one of my favourites, and I hope she comes again. And then, next one, Mr. Barrowman himself. John Barrowman, Malcolm Merlin. It was cool because I remember we got in on the Sunday and like, because we had the VIP so we was in like an hour and a half before general entry and so we was queuing up for Josh like, to get his autograph and then John Barrowman came down pretty He was just walking around the crowd of like, like people in his queue talking to fans, taking selfies with him and I was like, I've got to meet this guy. So then I got my photo up of him because this was after I had met him at his signing table. Um, so I got the Malcolm Merlin exclusive pop signed by him. And I had a green sharpie, and I was like, he looks well. So he started out, he loved the pop. He was like, this guy's really good looking. I like this guy. And I was like, well, thank you, sir. But yeah, he signed that for me. So that's cool. And then when I went back to the photo op, he was like, oh, come here, man, give me a big hug. And I was like, all right. So I got a bear hug by Barrowman. He was awesome. Because, like, things with Heroes of Men is it's, it's Stephen Mills convention, but I think him and John Barrowman sort of co organised it together. So that was pretty cool meeting him. But yeah, I was quite busy at the weekend. The next one I got was Brandon Roof, Ray Palmer. Obviously, he started off in Arrow, but now he's in Legends Tomorrow. The guy is freaking huge, man. I was sat next to him and I was like, holy shit, I am tiny. But he was cool. But he's, he's got a lot of haters and that, because so obviously he was Superman, Superman Returns and that. And like, alright, it wasn't him. Again, it's the direction of the film. But him as an actor, I like him and I think he's brilliant as Ray Palmer because he's like the, the cool nerdy one and I'm like me being a nerd is like something to relate to. So I had a choice of either getting a poster signed or a pop. So I decided to get the Atom Pop sign. I had a red Sharpie and because I was like, oh my god, I forgot to give it to him so he signed it. He's like put to Ben Best, Ray Palmer, Brandon Roof. He was cool though, like he was so nice and like I think he was one of the first times he's been to London or he's been here a few times. He was just really down to earth. And like, I was just said to him like, you know, I thought he's bringing it on Arrow and Legends, I can't wait for season three. Very humble. And then I got a selfie with him as well, which is pretty cool. And so I was like, well that picture on my phone now, so I'm like, I've got a selfie with Brandon Roof. But yeah. So Another great guest on it. Sunday was uh, Robbie Amell. He was a late addition to the convention as well. Obviously, I've been a fan of Robbie, not only for obviously being Ronnie Raymond on Flash, but obviously he's done he's done a few things off that. Like he's been the Darth. He did a film called Arc for Netflix, which if you haven't seen it, go watch it because it's a mind fuck. But wow, it's such a great film. And obviously, I don't know if you guys are aware, but him and Stephen Amell are doing a project called Code Eight. It's like a film they're doing together with us as Sun Kung from Fast and the Furious. So yeah, I donated to that as well. So then I was like, well, I want to meet him as well because, you know, he's, he's got such a good presence on social media as well. And I was seeing him at the Heroes and Villains in New Jersey with Steven. He was funny there, so I was like, I'll meet the guy. I didn't want to get signed by him because I was like, oh, do I get a poster, do I get a print? And then, as I said, Brian C. Rowe was there. And I was browsing the stall and then I saw this freaking epic Firestorm print. It was his character of it. I was like, oh, I get that sign. I was talking to him because I was wearing the Code 8 shirt and he was like, you know, oh, thank you for doing it to the campaign. I was like, dude, I cannot wait. Love the teaser. So I was like, you know, I can't wait for the film. And then they opened up the campaign a second time. So I bought some more stuff like I bought show glasses, a t shirt, some socks because everyone wants Code 8 socks. Because I was just like, I watched the 10 minute season. You haven't seen it. I'll put the link here. So if you've not seen the season for Code 8, go check the link out because it's cool and then it gives you a feel for the film. So I was talking to him for a good like almost 10 minutes after he signed the Firestorm print he personalised it for me. So he was like, Ben, your friend, uh, Robbie Amell, Firestorm. So that was pretty awesome. Obviously he did have to do that, but I was like, that's epic so I'm going to get that frame. But yeah, he was a really cool guy. And like, he's tall as well so I feel like a midget. He was a convention so I was like, I need to wear a good t-shirt. So I was like, Robbie Amell, Sunday. Code 8. Yeah. There was a duo for both the emails, so both Stephen and Robbie, and me and my friend Lucy was like, oh, let's get one together. So we go on to do a fighting post. It was like Emil versus Mel. She's like, who do you want? I went, I'm calling Stephen. She's like, alright. So we got on to sort of stare down each other 
and that was the end result. And I thought he came out so cool, I was like, that's a photo that you look back on years and think, oh, that was awesome. And I was just so down for it as well, because like, some gets with photos like, oh, no, I just want to do another one, but no, they was down for it. Because we could do the Charlie's Angels one, and I thought, nah, fuck that, I was like, let's do, let's do a fighting pose, so that's the end result, and that was so cool. <laughs> just one of those things, I was like, yeah, that's awesome. So that's the memory I remember from that. Last but not least, the last one was Matt Ryan. John Constantine. I don't know if you guys have seen Constantine, but it was such a great show, and he was just perfect as the character, and then it got cancelled after one series, and like, I know there's been a petition to bring it back, and it's a case of like, would he come back? There's rumours of him coming on to Legends of Tomorrow, so that would be awesome if he did, so fingers crossed. But yeah, he was just such a cool guy. I did get to meet him at his signing table, because I just ran out of time. He was just awesome, and like, just a pleasure to talk to, really nice guy. So that's my last photo up on Sunday, so that was all my photos. And then I got... Some more stuff from Brian Rupp T. Rolls up stuff. I saw this print and I was fell in love with it. It was like the arrow, but it's like got Big Ben in the background, so it's like an exclusive one to London, if you guys can see that. But he signed all these prints for me as well, which is pretty dope. That's one of my favourites. And then this one was like only special to the show. It was like he won a done of all the guests that appeared. I mean, some cancer sort of like. Candy's pattern wasn't there, Iris, Melissa Benoist had to cancel, so they weren't there. But the rest of the guests on there were there. And I saw this and I was like, dude, that's that's a special one. He signed that for me as well. I mean, I pretty much met everyone on there apart from Sean Gunn, just because again I ran out of time, but I was like, that's a pretty cool one, so I'm gonna get that shit framed. I was like, I'm gonna get my own place, I'm gonna have a room full of these prints, so that's gonna be cute. And then I didn't get a photo with him, I got some selfies with him, but I met um I can't even say his last name. Milo, oh, I'm not gonna pronounce it, but I met him, Milo, and he was the ogre on Gotham. Because my friend Lucy, she met him, and like, she's got a crush on him, and she was like, oh, you've got me. And I was like, oh, I don't know, I was like, if I've got time. I'm so glad I met him, though, because, wow, the guy, he was just awesome. Like, I was talking to him about heroes, and I was saying, I love him, that, and then obviously he's been in Gotham, and I was like, you know, it's so great you've come to London. He's like, oh, thanks, man, I appreciate that. And, I was like, dude, you gotta come back next. He said, look, if the fans want me here, I'll be back. And he was just so awesome, so he signed that for me. Just a print of him as Peter and Heroes. I wish I got a photo of him now, because like, after I met him, I watched the Gotham panel on the Saturday. So like, all the actors were talking about the show, and he was there, and I was like, oh man, I should have got a bloody photo. Here's his photo ops, their schedules, if they clash, it's not worth spending the money and risking it, but he was an awesome guy, so I hope he comes back. Now, this story, I've been saving for the end, because it just, so makes me laugh now, but like, it was the last thing I got to do on Sunday, because I just met Matt Ryan, like, from a photo, and then, as I was walking out, Michael Rooker's queue was empty, and I was like, oh, shit. And my friend Lucy, she was like, have you met him? I went, no, I got him, and she's like, right, stop. So literally, whatever money we both had, we pulled it together on the floor, to try so I could get his autograph. And I was like, oh, my God. it's because I couldn't get any more money, all the cash points were out, I thought, oh, no, I'm not going to get to meet him. So went up to his table and I got his autograph, which is the undo one. Now what's great about this situation was like friend Lucy's with me and we both explained to him how we pulled our money together to so I could get his autograph. And he was like, oh my god, that's so awesome. He just started laughing. And then he just gave us both a bear hug and I was like, I've just got a hug by Roku. And he was like, do you know what? I'm gonna give you a free autograph. So he signed both of our passes and like for free. Just because he thought it was so awesome that we pulled our minds together so I can actually get his autograph. And then we walked out thinking like, holy shit, did that just happen? It was, just, it was the best way to end off the weekend. Because it was like, it was unexpected because he didn't have to do that. But then I was like, dude, that's freaking amazing. Like, I didn't get to get a photo op of him, which I'm guided about. So I hope he comes back next year. But I was just like, buzzing. We walking out like, oh my god, we got bear hugged by a rooker. And it was just it was freaking awesome, like. Such a great way to end the weekend. And then one of the other things I got to do uh, is what there's an artist I'm a big fan of, Lord Messer. I don't know if you guys have seen stuff, but he's a really, really brilliant illustrator. Um, so I wanted to meet him and buy some of his art because like, he hasn't got a web store. I donated to the first Code 8 campaign. So I was like, right, I'll get to sign that because Stephen and Robbie Mel signed it beforehand. I don't know if you can see the gold bit, but that's Messer's signature. He signed that for me. And then I bought. These prints I wanted to buy for a while, so I bought this really cool flash one. Just because I, lo I love Harry Jordan's and illustrates, and I think his colouring is on point, it's top notch. And then I also bought this sick Arrow one, which was based on the season 5 finale. So you got Slade Wilson, Merlin, Nissa, and 
you got obviously Captain Boomerang as well. So I bought those two. You signed them both. And I, I was talking to him because I was like, how did you, you know, how did you get as good? And he was like, it's like of anything. He's like, he just practice and he does different mediums. Like he was doing this really cool thing with watercolors there. He was drawing up some Deadpool watercolors. I was watching it like, holy shit. I was seeing him do it and I was like, oh man, it's really inspired me to get back into drawing and stuff. And I said to him, like, you know, I'm a massive fan, you're one of my inspirations as an artist. And he was like, oh, thank you so much. And uh, he was there, if I ever draw anything, just tag him in it and he'll just look at it for me. So I was like, that's pretty awesome. So he was a very nice surprise. And then I also got, so see, it was just a small A4, but it was an arrow print by Brian. I just, I love how the guy draws because it's so realistic as well. Combination of digital and traditional. So I bought that, so I'm going to get that shit framed as well. Like, yep, that's awesome. It wasn't so I bought there, but I bought it prior. And it was a Gotham poster. I got it signed by all the cast, like all five of them. Which I didn't think was going to happen. If I was being on a general entry, it wouldn't happen, but I was on VIP. So I got to get it all signed by them. So I got David Malzus at the top. I got Jessica Lucas on the right. And we got John Pertwee. They all personalised as well, which is dope. And then we got Drew Powell. I'll tell you what, it was so hard to find a Gotham poster with him on it, it was ridiculous. And then Robin Lord Taylor as well. So my aim is to get that whole poster signed by all the cast. I'm hoping more of them come next year. It's like once I got it signed, I'm gonna frame it and then when I get my own place and have a man cave, that shit's going on the wall. And then just as a little souvenir, I just bought the heroes and villains on the t-shirt. I thought that'd be a cool thing to like, you know, just have a little, little souvenir of the show. But yeah, and that's, that's my roundup of Heroes and Villains Fan Fest 2017. Like, it was the first one over here. I'm like, obviously the reason I wanted to go was because Stephen Amell was there and I knew it was his con, so I was like, oh, this might be something different. But the way it was set out, it was just the best way to do a convention. I think a lot of them could learn from them because the organisation was brilliant. Like, each guest had their own queue and it wasn't cluttered. Like you had some guests next to each other and then the bigger ones were like on the top floor. So like Emily and Stephen were on top. And then the rest of them had their own queues. Like you had GAQ, VIP entry, gold entry and platinum, which is like the highest tier you can get. And uh, I think the longest queue I had to wait for was probably Josh. And that was like only about 25 minutes. Because they try and get you through as quick as you can. But then you're with the guests. It's not like high by. You're with them for quite a while, which is cool, and it was just such a chilled atmosphere. And the photo ops were so well organised as well, because at the back of Olympia, which is where it was, it was literally there was probably five photo units, but then you had a massive telly that had the guest time. Obviously, what what queue? You asked if you was GA, you had a number. Go in the queue, get your photo done, and walk out. By the time you walk out to the printer, the photo was already done, and it was just so chill. Because like a lot of conventions, it's so stressful. Like LFCC, like, I think the second time I went getting photos, the photo units were spread all over the place, and it was just like it was it was chaos. Like, sometimes you end up the chance of missing your photo. But with um, Heroes and Villains, like celebrity photo ops, who I thought were just brilliant, because like I had a lot of clashes, and I wanted to swap days around. So what they done, you'd email me your reference, like your confirmation and they swap it over, give you a refund and let you buy a ticket for another day. And it was just so cool, like a lot of companies don't do that but I think a lot of shows can learn from celebrity photo ops and just the organisation of Heroes and Villains in general because I think it's James, James Fraser, that, like he, he runs by Falker Stalker and Heroes and Villains and he's got, he was he was at the show and I got to talk to him briefly but his organisation is great and like, I think it's the best convention in terms of layout, obviously guests, photo ops, talks. The main stage, it's on the floor, but it's not corn off, so you can just stand at the side and just watch it. There's no like, oh, you've got to pay to watch the talk. So that's pretty cool. But I just remember walking away thinking, fucking hell, that was an amazing weekend. Because I met some of the people I've always wanted to meet, had some cool photos of them, obviously got a lot of stuff signed, bought some cool stuff there, and then I was just thinking, oh man, that was the best convention ever. Like, I'm going next year, just because, like, you know, there's probably, hopefully, more Flash people there going to be there. And that was the only thing that was a bit poo with this one was like a lot of the flash gets had to cancel because I think it was because of shooting or you know, prior commitments. So that was a bit of a bummer. Maybe next year we'll get some more flash guests and maybe some more legends. But overall the weekend it was just like top notch and like I can't wait for next year. I'm hoping they get more guests because the only problem with it, this weekend it fell on the MCM London Comic Con at the XL Centre which is the other side of London. And what was frustrating about that, you had Manu Bennett there, Slade Wilson, Echo Kellum, who plays obviously Mr. Terrific, and then you have Vitsa Garber there from Legends Tomorrow and I was like... <laughs> hoping they get bigger room next year to have more guests there because the only reason they weren't at Heroes of Villains was because it was full so they had to go to MCM and I was like this is just not happening 
Yeah, if you've never been, I highly recommend it. If you love like Arrow, Flash, Gotham, Legends of Tomorrow, obviously anything Marvel or DC, and you love meeting these guests, it's the one to go to. Like, I can't I can't say it anymore, it's just freaking awesome. Yeah, I've been to a lot of conventions, but this is the one I've also been thinking, holy shit. That was an amazing weekend. They have all over, like, you've got some in America, obviously, you've got some ones in London, and obviously, next year will be year two, so I've got a feeling they're gonna up their game and make it even better. And this year was fantastic, so don't know what they'll do next year. Yeah, I just wanted to share my experience with you guys. That was my round up of Heroes and Villains Fan Fest 2017. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below, and stay tuned for more convention coverage. My next one is gonna be for. Uh, London Film Comic Con, which was in July, so that's going to be the next one, which I'm going to film soon. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys. Bye. I always make videos because I just, I, you know, I enjoy what I do, and I just want to share it with you guys. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not a big channel at all. Just one guy with a camera that enjoys the content I make.